To all the viewers, welcome to Name is CGT New Media to our new episode of Adventure. This is our special coverage into Xinjiang, and today we bring you this John Derry here in Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region in China, and this is the a first birch forest in China, and also people say it the most beautiful one in China. And here we have this bird view for you and to enhance the autumn landscape here in Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. And you're looking at this is a birch forest in Xinjiang, which is also called the first birch forest in China, located in the Habaihe County of Xinjiang. And some people say that the birch forest on both sides of the Haba River is the most beautiful one and everyone can feel a different kind of dream in this place. When the leaves fall and the whole place turn gold, it is a romantic curtain call by nature to the birch forest. And the falling leaves are like dancing maidens spinning in the air. And this place is equally suitable to visit and especially for the those who really like taking photos and this is, will be your paradise. This is a very beautiful place and really the breast taking place. It's feel very peace and tranquil and this is also the most beautiful one in China in terms of the birds trees. And this is the a county situated in the far north of the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region and is under the administration of the Altai Prefecture. It has an area of 8,179 square kilometers with a population of 80,000. We're also looking at some construction site. Actually, the, a local government working with the companies to expand the facilities here to provide a better environmental protection and also offer some stations or the resting places for the visitors. And here right now becoming a quite popular place for visiting, for tourism, and all different kinds of activities, especially outdoor activities are going on. And we will see more and more activities developed by the companies. And so far the companies invested invested 1.1 billion or not more the 1.1 billion RMB so hoped we will see the a project finished and the projects actually is due last year but because of the COVID-19 the whole pro expansion projects extended and the projects aim to finish this year uh, right now you are looking at this is a bird's will of the most beautiful and the peaceful place here and this is the a birch forest in the Habaihe County and with that sunset is give you that really heart melting scenery here and the birch tree is a plant species prevalent in North China. It grows along the wide expanse of mountain areas and the river banks. And during the autumn and winter seasons, its pure color serves as one of nature's best decorations. So here, please join us for a bird's eye view of the birch tree forest in Habaihe County, Northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region through the drone. And the white birch forest scenic area is located here in Habaihe County in the Altai region, Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. And the, it has very good accessibility. So it's not far from the Habaihe County, just four kilometers away. And it belongs to the secondary forest zone of the river valley with a length of about 138 kilometers. And really here we bring you that's really killing scene here, isn't it? So bring you with that sunset and the trees turned uh, yellow and golden 
with that flowing river. So all these bring you that the a spectrum of colors of the winter and right now is the a late autumn scene here in the Habaihu County. And once again, this is a lens of about 138 kilometers and an average width of about 1.5 kilometers and is known by tourists as the first white birch forest in China or in northwest China. It is a comprehensive scenic spot integrating ecological tourism, white mushroom picking experience and the, a photography tourism, hiking tourism, and also a popular outdoor activity base. So looking at this, the lake here is called Kanas Lake. And the lake is located in the valley in the Altai Mountains, near the very northern tip of Xinjiang. And the province's borders with Russia, Kazakhstan, and Mongolia. So this is a kind of the, a very ideal place for hiking and also for camping. So that's why this popular, very popular destination for tourists. And also the a local government working with the companies together to further explore the potential of this place, make it more suitable for visitors either to camping or more like the field training. And also it's very kind of the a cozy place for just walking as well. So this Kanas Lake was formed around 200,000 years ago during the a quaternary period as a result of glacier movement. The crescent moon shaped lake has an estimated water storage capability of 53.8 billion cubic meters. And coupled with an average depth of around 120 meters, the Canas River flowing out of the lake later merges with the a Mu River to form the Abertin River. And also this place is a large population of ethnic Tuvans and Kazakhs in the Kanas Valley. Well, most people here have maintained their traditional agricultural and nomadic lifestyles, many work in the developing tourism tourism industry and have established facilities for hiking, for rock climbing, and for camping as well. The scenic spot here is classified as a highest class scenic area by the China National Tourism Administration. And about 117 different kinds of birds live along the lake. So here we bring you it's 360 degree of the wheel here and you could see that it's a very nice place to travel and this once again this is Kanas Lake And for the viewers, if you're just tuning in with CGT New Media, we bring you another episode of Drawn Diary here. We have an adventure here inside this birch forest. And we talk about this is a quite famous among tourists as named as the first the birch forest in China or especially in the North China. And the whole place is, is located in Habaihu County in Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region and with a lens of about 138 kilometers and an average width of about 1.5 kilometers. And looking at the whole place, this is located within the Akanas Lake Scenic Area in North Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region and Hemu is a rather primitive village. The birch trees which grow among the village add to its tranquility. So the village is located in Xinjiang's Birchin County, which is 
the farthest and the largest of the three remaining Chuvan's villages. So among the three are the Ehomu, the Kanats, and Baihabai County or villages, and also the villages is known as the birth village of China. The autumn scenery of the village is as beautiful as an oil painting. So the hillside around the village offers a paramatic view of the village and the river with small bridges and beautiful scenery. And we talk about this place actually also offers hotels and other hospitalities and most of the hotels actually are wooden buildings and also with the uh, local traditions. So the Ehamu and Baihabai villages are deep in the forest where Tuwan's tribes live. Tuwan's are often regarded as part of China's Mongolian ethnic group. And for nearly 400 years, they have settled on the banks of Kanas Lake and maintained a primitive way of life. And looking at here, we also bring you another killing scene with multiple colors here. We're looking at this is golden color and actually it's also with some rye dish and also plus the sunset bring you additional glittery layer on top of this scene and also in between we also see that flowing dynamic Kanas River and inside the forest we also have two villages it's the Hamu and Bahabai villages so that's also the a two one tribes lives and their wooden houses spread out in villages Streams waned under their bridges, and also we could see that smoke sometimes curves up from their chimneys. And Tuvan villages are very peaceful and beautiful, and also these large belt of the forest also add additional tranquility to the villages. And every autumn, the birch trees around the villages turn into this sea of gold. And there are many viewing platforms on the hills around Homu village where you can outlook the whole view of Homu village. And every autumn morning, a large number of photography enthusiasts gather there to take photos of Homo village in the morning fog and also with this background of the sea of gold. And once again, the a perch tree here is a plant species prevalent in North China. It grows along the wide expanse of mountain areas and river banks, and during the autumn and winter seasons, its pure color serves as one of nature's best decorations. In Chinese culture, birch tree symbolize strength, confidence, and elegance. Once again, you are looking at this is a Hapehu Birch Forest. It's located in Hapehu County, Altai region, the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, four kilometers away or four kilometers west of the Hapehu County. And the Birch Forest is about the 138 kilometers long and an average width of about 1.5 kilometers and also is known by tourists as the first white birch forest in northwest china and is also offer a comprehensive scenic spot activities including the ecological tourism the wild mushroom picking and also this nice place for photographers and also people loving taking photos. This is a must-go place for you. And it's also a very nice hiking place. And also a lot of companies actually also organize their the, a company field trip or field training in this place. 
and also the lake here is Kanas Lake the lake located in a valley in the Altai Mountains near the very northern tip of Xinjiang and also the whole place is a border area as well so borders with Russia Kazakhstan and Mongolia and the lake was formed around 200,000 years ago as a result of glacier movement and to talk about Xinjiang in autumn this season is like a giant scroll painting with all the stunning sceneries And also our special coverage into Xinjiang appreciate a very beautiful and colorful Xinjiang and in October the a CGTN team traveled to Yuli County when the autumn season put a golden dress on the poplar forest into a gold dress into this very beautiful scene and on the poplar forest it seemed to be a golden dream and the poplar forest the blue sky, the lucid water and desert are all in the harmony, forming a beautiful fairy tale world. And we also visit Yenti County and has seen a bumper harvest uh, of the chili peppers. And also the local farmers use machines to harvest all the chili peppers and also spread them on the Gobi Desert. So we could see that they spread the chili pepper all over the ground, looking at them from afar as like we were at a sea of rice. The rice chili pepper told the joy of the harvest and warmed the hearts of people. And we also visited the Altai Mountains, which stretched for thousands of miles, and the Ulunga rivers flow quietly with that the turquoise colors and when the autumn adds a little coolness to the earth the scenery also has a little more peace and tranquility and also we present viewers the AC the buckthorn fruits of Xinjiang and each orange fruit holds the farmers aspiration for a better life and we also visited the Itumar Grand Canyon, which is a majestic with the largest ride bed canyon in the Tian Shan Mountains. Inside the canyon ride cliffs and the pillars of various shapes of different landforms are everywhere presenting a spectrum of colors, making the Grand Canyon fantastically stunning. So we provide our viewers from different angles through our drone diaries and also visit different places to provide a really spectrum of colors, a fist to your eyes about this really beautiful and peaceful Xinjiang. And Xinjiang, once again, in autumn is just like a oil painting or a giant screw painting with all the stunning sceneries. And once again, here you're looking at, this is in Habehu, City uh, County and the white birch with exuberant vitality is the first to grow from the ashes and the, the yellowish dense birch forest pointing to the sky is also a missable view every autumn. So the white birch or paper birch is named for its pillable white bark. The soft and dry bark can be directly used as paper. And in ancient India and Nepal, many the Sanskrit scriptures were found to be written on white bark. For Vikings, the estot bark was also the perfect material to build canals because the altar bark is waterproof. So here we bring you the wheel over this Canas Lake. 
so you could see that the trees or the forest actually at the both sides of the bank. So once again, you're looking at this is a birch forest in Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region and also is called by the tourists the first birch forest in China located in the Habaihe County and people say that the a birch forest on both sides of the Habaihe River and it's the most beautiful one. I believe you could believe it from every angle I brought you by or drawn here. And also inside this deep forest, the a two one tribes also lived here. So you also can visit the Homu and Baihabai villages here. And the villages are very beautiful and peaceful. And every autumn the birch trees around the villages turn into a sea of gold. During the a famine, the people in Northern Europe would even put dried and the ground bark together with flour to make bread. Apart from that, the white birch contains a sweet sap that not only prevents cells from freezing but also makes birch syrup. And the birch, we talk about these white birch thriving at altitudes of 400 to 4,100 meters is truly the tree of life for people in the north. It symbolizes the fighting spirit in a harsh environment and the guards lives in obscurity. It also symbolizes in Chinese culture strength, confidence, and elegance. And we right now bring you another angle to looking at this sea of gold. So the wide birch forest scenic area is located in Hapaihe County, Altai region, in Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, four kilometers west from Hapaihe, Hapaihe County, with good accessibility. Uh, the transportation is very convenient, and the whole area belongs to the secondary forest zone of the River Valley, with a length of about 138 kilometers and an average width of about 1.5 kilometers and is known by tourists as the first white birch forest in northwest China. And looking at the lake here, the, the Sikanas Lake, it's a lake in Altai Prefecture. And it's near the very northern tip of Xinjiang. And the lake was formed around 200,000 years ago as a result of glacier movement and the crescent moon-shaped lake has an estimated water storage capacity of 53.8 billion cubic meters coupled with an average depth of around 120 meters and the whole scenic spot here is classified as a highest level scenic area by the China National Tourism Administration. And the quality of the ecological environment and the human settlements here are continuously improving. And the enthusiasm for creating a modern ecological civilization in the whole region in Xinjiang is soaring, and the fruitful results have enabled the great and most beautiful Xinjiang to hold up the elusive water and lush mountains with one hand, and also enable the whole environment to bring more benefits to the local people by expanding the uh, local industries and also the tourism industry.
So in this white birch forest, see this spot in northern Altai, Xinjiang, and the endless populous and white birch trees guard the hub, uh, river, and the landscape, forest, and the grass are integrated, which perfectly interprets nature and the harmony. And this is the largest birch forest in its spots in Xinjiang with a length of more than 138 or 140 kilometers and an area of 247 square kilometers. And the negative oxygen ions here are very high with an average of 8,460 cubic meters. So give our viewers a little bit tips about the, a road trip to northern Xinjiang, especially give you a Habahe travel guide. So Habahe is the county right now you're looking at, and the whole area here, this birch forest also belong to Habahe county. With a vast territory, China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region is a good choice for tourists to plan a road trip. And CGT New Media also ground our teams to this place to visit Habahe County in northern Xinjiang in this early October. Based on our experience, we have selected several must-see attractions there if you are planning a trip to the far north of Xinjiang. And located in Altai Prefecture, Habahe County features massive areas of deserts, mountains, lakes, and birch forests, as the one you are looking at, so bringing water and some energy-boosting food, as you may drive a very long time, uh, wear a pair of comfortable shoes, and also bring enough clothes as temperatures vary greatly at different places. And the Habahe Birch Park has the largest natural birch forest belt in northwestern China. The forest grows along the banks of the Haba River and is more than 20 kilometers long. And during the autumn and winter season, the pure color of the tall trees, normally is around 20 to 40 meters in height, serves as one of the nature's best decorations. So there are a lot of different activities and also amusement facilities created and catered to children. So you can do hiking and also you can take photos because this is a quite ideal place for the photographers or the people who love taking a lot of beautiful photos. And this is a Moscow place. And Bahaba village is another place you can't miss. It's a small village inhabited by the Kazakh and the Tuvans. It's far from the city. The village has preserved its folk custom for centuries. The dense golden pine forests of the Altai mountains extend to the village. The wooden houses and the fences of the captive animals are scattered along the pine forest and the birch forest. It's a beautiful, peaceful place that makes time stand still. While traveling in Habahe County, don't forget to try local juices made from sea buckthorn, one of the a county's signature plants. Its leaves, flowers, seeds, and the fruits are used to make medicine. So this is also a must try fruits and also is made into juice as well. That's the uh, orange fruit. So that's the uh, sea buckson. 
and the sea buxom berries are used to make jellies, juices, and sources. In manufacturing, the sea buckthorn is used in cosmetics and anti-aging products as well. So the sunflowers, another common plant in the area that thrives thanks to the ample sunshine. And you can see large areas of sunflowers planted along the road in autumn as well. So from this angle, you could tell the really vast space here. And this is the Habaho Birch Park or the Birch Forest. So the tree here is normally or usually 20 to 40 meters in height. And Kanas River here is an ideal place for relaxing, photography, and enjoying views. The magnificent glaciers set off the tranquil lake water, and the vast grassland borders deep the Primaro forest, where primitive villages inhabited by Tuvans are scattered. So it is all refreshingly natural. and the Kanas Lake and its surrounding snow-capped mountains, grassland, and birch forests have made it known as Switzerland of the East and a paradise for photographers. So there are a lot of really the breathtaking, breathtaking scenery of Kanas and also attracting more and more people. So we talk about the Kanas Lake, the Homo village, and Habaho village are the three best places to experience its beauty. And the Kanas Lake stretches out among the dense forest of the Altai Mountains. And so you're looking at the water in the lake is usually a dizzling turquoise and its color changed according to the season and the weather conditions. In May, the water is blue and then is swelled by melting snow from the surrounding peaks in July. And it's also turned aquamarine blue. And in August, the water can change to a dark green. So that is the water you are looking at. This is the Canas River or Canas Lake. So the mountains surrounding the lake are covered with dense alpine forests of birch, elm, and Siberian larch. And this is also the only area where Siberian species of animals and plants can be found in China. In autumn, the forests provide a vivid backdrops of colors and unspoiled dazzlingly beauty rarely found throughout the rest of China. And if luckily you can also can take a boat tour of the lake for a paramedic view and there is also a walkway along the lake, a hike along the lake is popular among visitors. And if you're looking for a comfortable weather when visiting Canas, the best time is from May to September. And the average daily temperature range in Canas is very low. It's minus one to 11 degrees Celsius, and the typical of April and October. The coldest month is in January with an average temperature range of minus 20 to minus nine degrees Celsius. And the hottest months, it's July, has an average temperature range of 15 to 28 degrees Celsius. And the temper temperature differs greatly between daytime and nighttime, therefore layered clothing with a good coat or a jacket, an insulated jacket, is highly recommended, and even in summertime. And we talk about autumn is the most beautiful season in Canada, especially late September and early October. And the changing 
colors of the birch trees, especially the bright yellows with the dark greens and other evergreen tree evergreen trees, creating a colorful foreground to the snow-capped mountain peaks in the distance. And the result is almost surreal. So picture postcard is perfect. And also the view of this unique landscape at this time of the year should be captured. That is why we bring you this drawn diary to bring you this really the heart melting or breathtaking scenery here from the Hamahu County. And this is also the most beautiful one in the Kanask. And this is called the Kanask or the Hamahu the birch forest. And though it is cold in winter, but Canas has beautiful snow scenery as well. Glittering ram hangs on the groves of birch trees. The gray birch forests are set against the silvery snow-capped mountains, and the cabins are scatter scattered in the forest, glowing with a warm orange light. It is understood that since year 2020, the local government worked with companies to invest uh, more than 17 million US dollars for the construction or the expansion of this birch forest scenic spot. And also is developed in a green and low carbon manner and just environmental friendly and also hope to invest more in the tourism industry so that can help increase the income for the local residents. Once again, for all the viewers you are looking at, this is Birch Trees Enhanced Autumn Landscape in Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region in China. And through this drawn diary, we bring you another episode of adventure here in Xinjiang. And the birch trees is a plant species prevalent in North China. It grows along the wide expanse of mountain areas and river banks. And during the autumn and winter seasons, its pure color serves as one of nature's best decorations. So through the bird's eye view of all these birch trees forests in Habakkuk County, Northwest China Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, we hope our viewers can know more about Xinjiang, especially it's a very beautiful scene here. It's very colorful and also in our previous the drone diaries will bring you that different aspects of Xinjiang, also in different colors. We talk about the red color, that's the a pepper chili, and also the turquoise, that's the a lake. Today we'll also see the turquoise, that's the Kanas River, and previously we also see the Ulunga Lake as well. And also here you're looking at this is we can see orange, gold, red, and silver as well. So I hope our viewers can enjoy this really painting style scene and I hope you can know more about Xinjiang and it's always welcome to tune in with CGT New Media and we see you next time in another episode of John Derry.